Praise God. Hey, beloved church family. Oh my goodness, I am so excited as far as with this new season on us. Hallelujah. Praise Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name. Hallelujah, our Lord, our Savior, that Father God would bless us with his perfect beloved son, his perfect lamb, his sacrifice for you, for me, that by the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, say his name, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit has sealed us. It's all through his blood, amen? And say it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. There's power in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Hallelujah, beloved church family. There's power in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And Holy Spirit wanted to do something new, obviously. Praise God. You can see that the, the camera position is different. Amen. We don't have, we don't have the, the, the slides going or nothing like that. And Holy Spirit said, I want to do something different, and I want you to address something that is um, near and dear to my heart. Amen. And glory to God for this uh, this divine moment. Amen. And so before I start, let's just open up in prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You excited? Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are. You are God Almighty. You are our Father. And we thank you so much, Father, that you would send your word. You would send Lord Jesus Christ to come to this fallen world to save me, to save your beloved children, Father, to save this whole world, Father God, for anyone who wants you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, you are holy, you are perfect, you're the only righteous one. And Lord Jesus Christ, it's in your mighty name that I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have sealed us for all of eternity. I thank you, I ask you for wisdom. Holy Spirit, you are our wisdom, our God, our peace. Holy Spirit, we bless you, and we thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for life-changing revelation, and it's in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys, praise God. So in this new season that I'm asking, Pastor and I, we're asking for your prayers always. Pray for your entire church family, amen, our, our elders, our deacons, for one another. Open Arms Community Church, amen, and I'm specifically asking for prayers because in this new season, in what Holy Spirit wants, say it with me, be obedient, amen, praise God, that's all we strive to do in every breath, and, and that's exactly what Holy Spirit is saying, just, just bless me, bless me in every breath, for that's who God is, he's our every breath, hallelujah, and let's do that for, for right now, let's do that right now, let's just take a a, a few breaths, amen? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Agape, amen? Hallelujah, agape. I got my, I got my favorite shirt on, praise God. And I just, uh, I just wanted to be in Luke 12, and Holy Spirit give this word as far as um, what he wanted to address not only in this new season, amen, but addressing as far as what God has protected us from, amen, because we are covered by God's hand. Whose hand? Hallelujah. Right there, you can see behind me, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Those hands were nailed to that cross, praise God. We are in the palm of his hand, hallelujah. On that glorious day when you see Lord Jesus Christ, Eyeball to eyeball, glory to God, you're going to see the glory of heaven shining through, right? Shining through, amen? You can see the scars. I know many of you have seen already. And glory to God, what a glorious day that will be, amen? That our Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit will say, well done, hallelujah, well done. Beyond what we can comprehend or understand, amen? This, this life is but a vapor. This is not life. Can I get an amen, church? This is not life. Don't get too attached to this. Amen? I know many of you are like, oh my goodness, Brother Joy, it's, it's hard when you preach this way. I'm speaking the truth. Amen? This, this isn't it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's get our minds right and let's live life the truth, the way, the abundant life 
His name is Lord Jesus Christ. That we worship God Almighty and that we do not fear. Amen. The only one that we fear is agape, hallelujah, himself. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Now, beloved church family, the reason why Holy Spirit wanted this message so different than all the other ones, and you got to know for over two years now, is God is saying, am I your Lord? Am I your Savior? Am I truly agape in your life? God is asking that now of his holy church. Can I get an amen? God is asking because if you say that he is, but yet your actions or your heart is doing otherwise, come on now, Holy Spirit has been teaching us in depth, in depth in his, in his written word, in the Bible, but above all, Holy Spirit is teaching us in the living word, amen? Lord Jesus Christ is teaching us, speaking to us, amen? And right now there's a charge over God's church, Open Arms Community Church, hallelujah. Holy Spirit right now is saying, let's get right, amen? Let's get right. Say it with me, beloved church, wake up. Come on, beloved, say it. Wake up, amen? Now, glory to God, I know that I'm speaking to a lot. I do, I know I'm speaking to a lot of souls right now, hallelujah. I don't limit God, amen? And I know this word is gonna go for eternity, praise God. It's gonna go, just gonna keep on going. That Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Hallelujah. He is Lord. He is Savior. He is the only Son of God. And through Him, we are children of God. Through Him. Only through Lord Jesus Christ. Here's the question. Amen. Here's the question. Haven't even gone into the scripture yet. But Holy Spirit said this. Have you gone through? Have you gone through? Amen. Amen. You come to my house, you knock on the door, hallelujah, right? Come to the house, knock on, if I'm there, praise God. If I'm not in worship, if I'm not in prayer, if I'm right there, come on in, right? If I'm right there. What happens if you just stood there and I opened the door and you just stood there and you're like, hey. Right? And I go about my business in the house and you're just standing outside the house. Trying to have a conversation with me. I can't hear you because I'm in the kitchen. Right? <laughs> Praise God. I pray that this message right now is blessing you because there are children of God right now that know the door, the only way, the only way, Lord Jesus Christ. He is the door. And there's so many right now saying, you are my Lord and my Savior, but God is saying, why haven't you walked through? Why are you still staying outside? You see, outside is where the world is. Outside is where all the demons are at. Outside is where all the fear of this world, all the idolatry, all the paganism, all the religion, outside is where that is. But you see, Jesus Christ, the only way, Lord God, our Savior, God himself, Holy Spirit said, come on. You call on me, it's open, come on. Why would you stand outside and be consumed with the world. Be consumed with fear. Say it with me, beloved church family. No more. Hallelujah. No more. Glory to God. Amen. So let's read this. Praise God. We're going to be in Luke 12. Hallelujah. Can you get an amen? Hallelujah. Luke 12. Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousands, many thousands, hallelujah, Many thousands had gathered so that they were trampling on one another. Oh my goodness, trampling on one another. That's, that's on top of each other, right? Elbow, elbows and faces, right? Pushing, just on top of each other. And Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, saying, Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, against the religious ones which is hypocrisy. Say that word with me, hypocrisy. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight. 
and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the roofs. Amen? God knows everything. Say with me, God knows everything. Yes, God knows your text. Yep, God knows what you're looking at that you shouldn't be. God knows what you're doing. God knows your social media. Amen? Come on, beloved church family. Praise God. Share this message, right? Share it. Because religion, deception from the devil, the evil one, the devil has one main goal, to destroy everybody. That's his main goal, to destroy. That's why he steals. That's why he kills. The intent is to destroy. God is saying, no more. Amen? Say it with me. No more. Hallelujah. And God knows everything. It's amazing to me when a beloved child of God, they say that they're a Christian, that they know Lord Jesus Christ, but yet they do things and then they act like God doesn't know. And the beauty of Holy Spirit is Holy Spirit shines, hallelujah, agape, right, over that in fellowship or in conversation, in text, message, right? And by the grace of God, I know who I'm talking to. When you just openly in worship, just say, God knows everything. My Father knows everything. What you're doing, he knows. What I'm doing, right? What's in my heart, God knows. And the anointing of Holy Spirit, the presence of God in you, right, in me, his presence will let us know that doesn't belong in my temple. Say it with me, his temple, amen? And God will tell you that doesn't belong. Get rid of it, amen? Let's continue on, verse 4. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, and after that, do no more. But I, I will show you who you should fear. Fear him who, after killing of the body, has power to throw you into hell. Now, Lord Jesus Christ is speaking, hallelujah, of the Father and Holy Spirit. Amen? Say it with me, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Son is speaking of the Father and Holy Spirit, amen? Yes, I tell you, fear him. And I love this because Lord Jesus Christ breaks it down and just shows how valuable, how intimate a loving and perfect father is with his children. This is what he says. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, their very hairs on your head are all numbered. Hallelujah. Can you believe that? All this is all numbered. Because Jesus Christ is my Lord. My Father God knows all. Hallelujah. It's a lot now. Praise God. Do, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Amen. Amen. And I love this because here is Agape in the flesh speaking to his disciples about their worth. Amen? About their identity. Hallelujah. And isn't it beautiful that Lord Jesus Christ is telling them how much they're worth because who is the one making the payment? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, as he looks at his disciples, as he looks upon the thousands and thousands of people, right? And he says, you know how much sparrows cost? The word of God just said it, right? Two cents. Two cents, right? Ain't that the truth about the world we live in? Everything has a price, right? Right? Everything has a price. In verse 8, I tell you, whoever acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man will acknowledge him before the angels of God. But he who disowns me before men will be disowned before me, the angels of God. Let's keep in mind that when we disown, right, what do we do when we disown? Right? 
Ain't got nothing to do with it, right? Whether you disown something, meaning that, you know, you sold something maybe on Craigslist or on eBay, you know, or you just sold it to a buddy or you give it away. Hallelujah, you just give it away, praise God. What happens? It's no longer mine, that's yours, right? And I love how intimate Lord Jesus Christ says because he talks about this disowning, meaning that through salvation that only takes place, place through Christ our Lord, hallelujah, only takes place. He is the only way now, amen? That you call upon Lord Jesus Christ and Father God, amen, sends the one who seals your salvation. His name is, say with me, Holy Spirit, amen? Holy Spirit comes in the name of Lord Jesus Christ from Father God to dwell within us for all of eternity, amen? And here Lord Jesus Christ is warning those that whoever disowns me, this is Holy Spirit, whoever disowns Holy Spirit, right? Whoever disowns, saying, okay, I receive you Lord Jesus, Okay, now I got you, but I'm going to do whatever I want to do, right? Right? Amen? Can you hear an amen, church? It's one of those things where if I go, like, like let's just say, if I go to a, a gym, right? And the, the personal trainer says, you need to be on a diet, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to work out three times a week. You know, we're going to start with cardio, lift weights, or whatever, right? Gives, us, gives me the whole plan, right? I say us because Trish and I are one. Amen? Gives us the whole plan, right? And then as soon as I get to the car, I'm like, oh, forget that. What did I do? I disowned it, right? I disowned it. I said, I do whatever I want. I ain't even going to go to the gym maybe just once a week. It, it's right. It's my right because I can do what I want to do, right? Well, if the same way, the same way. We say he is Lord, we say Jesus Christ is Lord, we say, Father God, you are now my Father, Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah, and here is our God come, amen, all in that exchange, all in that transfer, the old is dead and gone, hallelujah, salvation, Holy Spirit come, sealed us, amen, and now, hallelujah, praise God, we have the written word, the instruction booklet, amen, and it's like going, well, I just wanted the label. I just wanted the membership and just throw this in the back seat. But you know, you're, you know, if you're here planted at Open Arms Community Church, yes, we're thankful for the written word of God, but this is not God. Amen? Who is God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And all because of this one perfect man, Lord Jesus Christ, we have a relationship with God through Holy Spirit who lives in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray in Jesus' name that you did not disown anything from God Almighty. Amen? Well, pastor, explain. How do I know if I disown something from God? Well, let's get back into the written word of God and allow Holy Spirit to teach us. Amen? Verse 10. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but anyone who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven forgiven when you are brought before synagogues rulers and authorities do not worry say that with me beloved church family do not worry amen about how you will defend yourselves or what you will say for the holy spirit will teach you at that time what you should say can i get a hallelujah amen this is holy spirit's temple amen say with me I am an eternal soul. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Amen. If you notice everything we said in our affirmations, in our confessions, right, in what we're boldly declaring in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray you said it. Let's say it again. I am an eternal soul in Father God. Say it again. I am an eternal soul in Father God. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Amen. 
See right there. God is blessing us with a fresh anointing from heaven to rebuke any fear and worry. Can I get an amen, beloved church family? Hallelujah. You see, we have to keep in mind when God started speaking, and right there in the first verse, Lord Jesus said, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Amen? Say that word with me, hypocrisy. You see, being a hypocrite is being double-minded. And this is that yeast, this is that sin that Lord Jesus Christ was rebuking and cutting the head off of it. And he nipped that in the bud with his disciples, right, off, right away, right off the bat. Be careful, right? Here is agape, God Almighty saying, listen, listen. I'm giving you a warning, don't you know? Remember, repent, right? Repent. Here I am, a brother of yours, pastor, saying, repent. It's time to get right with God, amen? If we cannot wake up after the season that God has shielded us from, only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and the power of Holy Spirit over us as his beloved children, over Open Arms Community Church, hallelujah, over all the souls, hallelujah, that are rooted in God's holy church, God is saying, wake up. Amen? Because as you know, this mercy was sent all throughout this world, and it was a mercy from God saying, receive me. Receive me. Hallelujah. Say his name. Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it's in that holy name. It's in that holy name, the name above every name. The Holy Spirit says, you have reverence for that name. You revere that name. You only fear that name. Right? You only fear God Almighty. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ said, don't fear death in this world. Don't fear, don't fear that. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine Lord Jesus Christ ministering to not only his disciples, but then thousands and thousands of people Saying, don't fear what the enemy can do after you die. Fear the one that after you die, now you have to answer to. Hallelujah. And, I, and, and Holy Spirit wants to address this hypocrisy. Amen. Say that again with me. Hypocrisy. Religion. Right? See, there's some of you right now that kind of got a little upset. Like, wait, wait. What is a Pharisee? What is a Sadducee, right? Religion. The hypocrisy is that they want to look the part. They want to appear holy. They want the recognition from their peers, from the community, right? Oh, look at that man of God, look at that man. But inside, inside the Holy of Holies, is pure darkness, evil, worry, fear of the world, fear of all this going on. And in Jesus Christ's mighty name, from the written word of God, but above all, remember, because I fear agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I fear how much God loves us that he would send Lord Jesus Christ. I fear Lord Jesus Christ because he took upon himself what he went through, the torture, the beating, the insult, the excruciating pain when he could have said, enough. He could have called upon legions and legions of angels and wipe out the face of this world, but he did not. I fear that. That that is my love of the Father. That is my love of agape, the Son, Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the love of my Holy Spirit, hallelujah, who lives on the inside. My God, the inside of me, the inside of you, hallelujah. 
This is Holy Spirit's church, Open Arms Community Church. And we will not fear the enemy. We will not fear anyone else other than, hallelujah, agape. Amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. I pray in Jesus' name that this word from Holy Spirit, this word from agape, resounds within your spirit, soul, and bless God, just blesses your body. We are the body of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? That healing comes upon your body. And the glory of God is, this is between you and God now, hallelujah. By the grace of God, as pastor, I'm obedient to God's word, and I said what Holy Spirit charged us to say. I say us, because Pastor John and I were one, amen? And I'm just saying this over our beloved church family, over Open Arms Community Church, and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ covers us for all of eternity. We are unified through Holy Spirit. We are Holy Spirit's church, amen? And I thank Holy Spirit for his presence and anointing in all of God's beloved children, amen? That he's overflowing. Because it's only in God's presence, amen? It's only in God's presence that he will cast away every foul and garbage thing. And it's only in God's presence that anything good ever comes out of it. Amen? Because he is the only one good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you receive that today. Amen? Say it with me. I will not fear. Amen? Say it again. I will not fear in Jesus' name. Amen? And let's say this unto God Almighty and only God Almighty in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit already knows what you're going to say. Remember. God is God Almighty. He knows everything. Amen. But say this unto God Almighty and only unto God Almighty. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing of your Holy Spirit in me, I only fear you, my God, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. It's a fresh anointing. Glory to God. And I'm just so thankful once again for the anointing that you display continuously through your worship life through Christ our Lord. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that Holy Spirit sealed us as one. Glory to God. We are one body in Lord Jesus Christ. We have the anointing, the power. Amen. Remember, rebuke hypocrisy. Amen? Rebuke hypocrisy. Trying to act a certain way, trying to look a certain way, but inside there's something else going on. That's what the Word of, the word of God calls that, double-mindedness. Being double-minded. And the Word of God continues on to say, you be double-minded, don't expect anything from God. You know why? You're actually worshiping an idol. And that's what fear of this world is, an idol. And the enemy's hoping that he can get into your mind, into your thoughts, into your eyes, into your heart, so that you start fearing this thing, and it becomes a God. Say it with me, church. No more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No more in Jesus' name. Look at the cross. Hallelujah. Look at the cross. What more does God have to do than shed his own blood through his perfect beloved son, my Lord Jesus Christ? So that God, hallelujah, can be God in your life, in my life, over his church, Open Arms Community Church, hallelujah, over his children, all your beloved children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, hallelujah, I call them blessed in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So remember, rebuke hypocrisy, rebuke fear of this world, we only fear, hallelujah, you beat me to it, agape, amen, hallelujah, agape, amen. Who's agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? Glory to God. I love you, beloved church family. We are in a new season. Hallelujah. And I thank God for every one of you. Church and I, we pray for you guys every day. I know you know that more than every day. I am so thankful for all your love and support. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for praying for all your leadership. Above all, thank you for keeping God first. Amen? Thank you for worshiping Holy Spirit and allowing Holy Spirit to flow through you. How do you allow Holy Spirit to flow through you? Submit, just, just call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Submit unto God Almighty, hallelujah. I just, I just thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love you, brother. I love you so much, bro. God bless you. 
And I just want you to know that in this new season that we're in, Holy Spirit says, when you worship him and keep him first, you have this peace and this trust in God alone. And when you trust and worship God, Holy Spirit will rebuke things that try to cause confusion or division. God rebukes it. Amen. That's nothing, of the, that, that's nothing but the devil. God rebukes wolves. Amen. Hallelujah. God rebukes it in Jesus' name. Amen. So I just ask that, you know, in this season as we transition, you know, glory to God, we're going to be meeting here soon. Amen. We're going to be doing our, our, our drive-in. Uh, and we're excited about that on Sundays. We're going to be doing that. Hallelujah. What Elder Charlie said. Um, our, all our elders came together. I'm so thankful for them. And um, please, you know, I know this is, this is intimate. It's personal. Say with me, it's personal. But please bless God. You know, bless Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? If we're meeting in the parking lot and, and there's rules and guidelines put in place to, to not only, of course, above all, bless God in submissiveness, but be a blessing to God first. Submit, right? Surrender, hallelujah. That's what a servant does. I am a servant of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? I don't serve myself, I serve God Almighty, hallelujah. And it's in that servanthood, it's in that servantship that his anointing will bless us with a fresh power, a fresh anointing from heaven, amen? And I say all that to say this, that if it's in the parking lot, hallelujah, it's in the parking lot, God sees your heart. Amen? God sees your heart. But what hurts Holy Spirit is when we say, I don't, I don't need to do that. I don't want to do that. Really? Really? Is Jesus Christ Lord? You say Jesus Christ is Lord, and guess what? We're going to do whatever it takes to worship Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And we're going to do it with a cheerful heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And glory to God, we're believing. We're all standing in agreement. I pray that you're still praying every evening at 8 o'clock. Amen. But we're, we're just standing in agreement. All this, gone. Hallelujah. We're already in the new season. But we're, we're believing that when we open the doors of the building, that praise God that we can just get back and fellowship, loving on another, one another, hugging on one another. Praise God. But the reason we don't do that is because we're just being submissive. Amen. And I just want to say thank you so much. For your heart of worship and allowing God to flow through you. Being a blessing unto God first and everyone around you. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Love and miss you guys so, so very much. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name that you're overflowing in the anointing of Holy Spirit. God's presence is overflowing in and through you. Amen. May God abundantly bless you. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Love you, beloved church family. Glory to God. I'll see you in the next half an hour. Amen. God bless you guys.